the RNCM Arc Ensemble is just fabulously different. I think the best term to use is out of the box. Three words to describe the Arc Ensemble could be creative, reactive and maverick. The name derives obviously from the, the notion of the animals coming in two by two on the arc. So we have two of each wind instrument in the ensemble. There's two flutes, two oboes, two clarinets, two bassoons, two saxophones, two trumpets, two horns, two trombones, two percussion, a double bass and a conductor, we could sort of argue, makes two. I guess also with the arc there's a sort of a sense of the start of a new voyage perhaps for the wind ensemble. I was looking at ways to bring the wind ensemble kicking and screaming into the 21st century and this is our sort of attempt at making wind music kind of uh, really cool and relevant. I enjoy a lot uh, playing arc ensemble because it's something different than normally we play. It's a good opportunity to play a different kind of music that we are not used to. For me in particular, I really like listening to jazz and funk music, but I don't play it very often being classically trained. So this Rob's arrangements uh, create a platform for us as wind players to be able to play that kind of music. So it's really nice for us to get to stand up, uh, especially on piccolo, get to like be really raucous on the top and just sit underneath a really vibrant, energetic ensemble. It's got different elements from all types of music, all different genres, and uh, Rob's arrangements are just fantastic. And he's drawn inspiration from the Netherlands Blazer Ensemble. It's it's just got so many different elements of things going on about it. It's not just one style. It's just a, a different challenge. I think is what I enjoy about it. The music that we write uh, and arrange for this group is drawn from across musical spectrums, everything from early music to pop music to jazz, inspired music, folk inspired music and, and drawing on the classical tradition, but recontextualising it with this ensemble, making it a little more up to date. We can look at collaborations as we move forward with musicians from all of those disciplines, so maybe we'd see the arc ensemble with some pop musicians, with some jazz musicians, with some classical singers um, as the group develops through its time at the RNCM. And again, maybe some of our composers uh, will be, be coming on board and writing music specifically for this group of people. The ethos of the ensemble, I think, is to create uh, a vehicle for our top-end students to come together, have a real artistic input and say into what we're doing uh, in terms of repertoire, how we present the group, and contextualise that in a way that they can have real ownership over and feel very proud of the way they deliver it.